Now the Miller's knot is a very fast and very strong knot. As an example, this is a bale fresh out of the baling machine. And you can see the amount of flex and deflection you can get out of these strings. I can get my whole hand under there sideways. Now here's a bale that we just retied, and I couldn't, I can barely get two fingers underneath that. It is so much stronger and so much tighter, which not only increases the density of the bale, but makes it much firmer when you put it in the wall. When you start plastering, it actually makes for a much better backing for the plaster. So to do the Miller's knot, you want to start with, with your twine wrapping up and past each other. <coughs> Excuse me. Take the first piece in your right hand and loop it back so that the, the loose loop is over your hand. Next piece comes in and lays right next to it like this so they're both facing the same direction. You pinch them with your forefinger and your thumb. Now you twist, and as you twist them, bring this loose piece over the top. What that basically gives you is two loops going the opposite direction of each other. So you could just come in here and go like that, but it's actually much easier to come in, bend this one back, left piece right here, the left loose piece, will come around and over the top, and then over the top again of this back piece. Once you get it over the top, you tuck it under and create a little knot there. Basically what you've created in this is a double half hitch knot with a loop coming through the top. You now take the original piece that went up and went back into your right hand, pull it forward, hold on back here to start it, and you cinch it down. And as you cinch it, this double half hitch starts to tighten up and tighten up, and you can pull it all the way through and really tighten that up. Now, I didn't even pull that hard that time, and here's my new one, and here's the old one. So it's a major difference. Even with just a small tug, the, <laughs> the difference is, is very obvious. So it's, once you get it, it takes a little while to get the knot because it's, it's a lot of twisting and turning, but once you get it, it is simple and it is super fast, way faster than the trucker's hitch or any other knot that I've used to tie bales with and way stronger as well. You can get so much force behind this. In fact, you almost need to use the super blue twine because anything shy of this would probably snap under the pressure of you pulling it so tight. Here's another angle of the Miller's knot. Start with the twine running in opposite directions of each other as you wrap it around the bale. The piece on the right goes in your right hand and folds back over the top, so the loose end is folded back over the top of your hand. The left side loose end comes back running parallel with that piece we just folded back and is pinched between the forefinger and the thumb, like this. Now we take these two pieces and twist them, and as we twist them, my, my middle finger grabs the loose end of the left side, puts it over the top, and over the top again of the second piece. We then bring it back through, creating a little loop coming back through that section. Let's do that again. Starting with the piece on the right, go going through the hand, being folded back. The piece on the left, parallel to it, pinched between the forefinger and the thumb. As we turn it, my middle finger here grabs the back side of the one that was on the left, tilts it over the top, and over the top of this piece as well. Now it's facing back this way. We then pop it through, creating a little knot, which has now created a double half hitch in here with a loop through the top. So there's a half hitch here, a half hitch here with the loop running through. Now that we have that, we take the, the piece that was originally in our right hand as we move it up and pull it back. And as we pull it back, you can see it tightens up the knot, allowing you to put a lot of force behind the knot. And again, here's the new knot, or here's the new twine, here's the old twine.